So it, it seems like they already know that anyway, you see that the flight is in the Okay, this is the content of the, my talk. First, because most of them may not know, know what is the course of this, the course is. I make a very brief introductions and then uh, uh, mention about uh, what I involved in this uh, in this field. So I uh, then let's start with the uh, introductions. Okay, uh, all the story uh, was started from the, this uh, depression patterns. This was uh, observed by Frank in 1982. So, as I think, we will not from the metallic or solid state physics. We know that the black black loads. The black loads mean that only and only if the crystal uh, try to uh, feel the, the, the two dimension planes, then you will get the cavity. Again, this is not allowed in, in the uh, crystal. So, the quasi priority uh, priority is the uh, scale of tau. And tau is the uh, duration number because the golden mean is left up like here. And if you look at that arrangement of spot, you see that there are many arrangements with the pentagon. It means that they have a big, uh, uh, big strength with the uh, five-fold symmetry. And it means that we have uh, the uh, uh, arrangement, arrang atomic arrangement of this five-fold symmetry in the structure. So how come? So this five-fold symmetry and the non-periodicity, it appears in the different patterns, but we have no explanation on it. That's why this depression pattern did a quite uh, strong impact in the beginning. And as you know, I mentioned this effect is a, uh, is the, uh, a contradict to the result. At this beginning, of, sorry. Of course, and actually, to, be, to interpret the that structure, this, uh, just before the, uh, a couple of years before the discovery of quasi crystal, the surgeon was in the uh, Oxford University. He designed uh, two units. So I, I'm showing here this uh, two rubbers. And rubbers, you see that the uh, age length, uh, the length uh, ratio between age and the lot of the uh, so-called the matching loops, then we can feel the uh, two dimensions uh, planes without any effect or activity. This I uh, made by hand, so it's not really along this uh, 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 matching loops, but uh, just show you. And if we look at these patterns very carefully, we can see there are some places with the bifold symmetry over the pentagon arrangement. And if you see that the data spacing, you can we can recognize there is now not quite easy. It's something like with an L and S and arrange like this way. Okay, so if we look at the Fourier transform or this differential pattern or our optical transformation, we get the differential pattern like this. And this is, is very uh, similar to what we see we saw in the uh uh ones, the depression patterns. So undoubtedly this uh, uh panel pattern. It's something related to the structure of the quasi crystal. Okay. But anyway, the uh, first observation of the quasi crystal is a three, three dimension, just like here, it's because we observe the uh, uh, this the sample in, in a tube in the electron microscope. So if you look at all the directions, if we overall and you can get this the uh, uh, stereo graph. Then we have this content five symmetry, three four symmetry, and two four symmetry. And there is uh, just like uh, we have six uh, uh, five fold symmetry axis and uh, ten three fold axis and fifteen uh, two fold uh, two fold axis. So this is nothing else but uh, it's a uh, icosahedral symmetry. So we call this the uh, three dimension quasi crystal uh, uh, icosahedral quasi crystal. And instead of using the two these rounders, in we in order to construct structure, we need the uh, two the uh, rounder heads. One is called the acute number of hadrons and one is the absolute number of hadrons. But the, you know, just use these two and it's not easy to tell you how to, to fill the, the, the space you know, without any cavity. But I think we can start from just by construct the two clusters or two polyhedrons showing here. By using this uh, 20 uh, acute number of hadrons, we can construct this uh, stellar uh, polyhedrons I'm showing here. And if by using this uh, 10, uh, uh, acute round hadron and absolute round hadrons, then we can construct the uh, uh, this the uh, uh, round nuclear from hadrons. So actually, so it, it's very clear in, in the class or in this polygon, it's already shown some, something like this uh, uh, icosahedral symmetry. So this is why I think in the structure we already observe that class. But there's a problem after the, uh, the discovery of the uh, downshift mass because the samples prepared by many spinnings and in samples always contains a uh, a very high density of defects or strengths. And this first sample I see I'm showing here is almost very less dense in many cases, uh, the smaller than one micrometer 
it's too small to start in a big uh, uh, structure. And the other thing is because this is not stable phase. When you heat up to, uh, to something like 300 degrees, then it transforms to three factors. The main problem is that the problem, and this brought uh, a, a very strong controversy between in the physics for uh, the last, it's last for a couple of years. And then I come to the, uh, that's the, my PhD work when I, in 1987 uh, years, the year I made the harmonious uh, in, in my laboratories, and I, I read a big physics paper, I don't understand what's in the Q. Q is, but it is the, uh, something like the K, uh, what well, you see? It's a great vector. But I didn't realize what the K and he told me that that was my beginning of the, the, start, uh, the study. And here, show this, uh, we have this very clear, so the uh, shape. And uh, from sample, we can obtain this, the uh, low wave back scattering diffraction. So this commits the uh, physics of a preserve of that's positive is exactly this. And if you heat temperature, then you obtain a very uh, almost a total structure after the So on top of it, it's very last, the course is it's a stable phase, it's equivalent. And now after, after that, we also we can produce the course of in many alloys. Most of them are just like the intermediate compounds. So for example, it's could be for amicopal ion, you can study with the electron microscopy, and all these zinc magnesium hormone is, is bigger, and we can study by X-ray. Just a structure nice. Then now, then we can reach a sample as, as large as like the uh, 10 uh, milli millimeters. And this allows us to study neutron or some surface. And because of this, the, uh, the, the, the sequence of discovery of stable forces, then the IUCR decided to change the definition of the, 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 uh, the crystal. So in the, the classical uh, Definition is that they give the, the solid in which atoms are arranged in like translation order over periodic. So it means we the, the human beings say that the, the crystal must be something like this. It's defined about by human beings. But they, in, 19, in 1992, they, the, the IUCR changed the definition. It just means a crystal is any solid with a essentially discrete depression graphs. It means because the definition is given in the reciprocal space. And because without the experiment, we cannot say this is crystal or quasi crystal or others. It's a thing more, it's very interesting to see that. And so this is uh, the story of, uh, I think, the state of the, uh, the art of quasi crystal. And now I come to the second part. So because this is a very close relate to the uh, metallurgy, because I, I usually, the, 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 I think the principle in metallurgy is that we, we can design some new alloy which has a structure of quasi crystal. So, and probably you know very well the Hindu Sarilu, most people here that we have the, the, the they are three criteria for of the chemical rules. First because the atomic size is better, the second one is the ele electron negativity, and the third one is the EO by A rules. It means some intermediate compound they just uh, uh, dominated by this uh, EO by EO by A is mean that's electron atom ratio. Right here. So this is the example here, you see the, the phase diagram for copper zinc and copper aluminum. You can see the many internal compounds on the phase diagram. And uh, no matter what the combination or the composition they are, once they have, have the same EO by A ratio, then they reach the same structure. So it's, it's clear us that this EO by A work very well in the, for the internal compound. And as I mentioned previously, the quartz crystal is a kind of internal compound. So I think that we can use this load to uh, to see how it's looked like. And uh, so, the, since the first uh, stable course is in amicopal ions, and uh, soon after, I, will, uh, I think one year after that, and uh, I replaced the uh, ion by the sediment and, and, and osmines, and in the same composition, we found they also from the stable course crystal. I'm sorry, that the sediment is uh, osmines. And at least then, because you know, if you see the base type, uh, no, the periodic tables, Ion, Lucenium, and Osmium, they are located on the same columns. It tells us that already these three elements have the same electron structure. So they have a sign of the electron structure play a very important role in stabilizing the quartz crystal. So anyway, because the, the red frame, we also use this the, uh, idea to define some intermediate compounds. But anyway, we have these three. Uh, and we make simple calculations, and the EOI in this case is 1.75. Okay, so once we have the principle, so next thing we can do, we can find more and more positive crystals with this, this principle. 
So, as I mentioned, the first we have the, the idea of the amicable ions to the compositions, and then we try to have the coarse crystal, but without the ion, uh, copper or iron, so we then we move to army platings and the resmanglers and we speak. You have to please uh, pay attention to this. They are two, two systems, but they are different uh, in the uh, elements and also in difference in composition. But the same is that they reach the same EO by A, 1.75. And this is also from the stable for the crystal. And this is another very interesting example that you have seen. I will talk about this in a later report because we later we, we discovered the binary stable coarse crystal in calcium detergent or calcium uh, calcium. And uh, the, see, as you know, the calcium is a toxic element, and that in order to study surface, we need to, need to, be, to, to replace the detergent. So the idea is come from here. We use indium and silver to replace calcium, but do not change it your by in this case, cadmium detergent is the most because this divalent is a monadic divalent, so the overall U by F2. So then we design the, the indium and silver, just replace half with indium and half with iron, uh, silver, and we, we design another composition here. And these two compositions also form a stable composition. I will show you this later. And if, if you extend again to, I'm sorry, it's missed here, it's by, by the uh, uh, Using the, the gold and the interchange, we also got the, the, the formation of the coarse crystal. So this is the idea we we, we uh, designed so the uh, stable coarse crystal. And here is the table of the, the, the stable coarse crystal so far. It's only I only lift this up. I'm sorry, it's here for the hypothetical coarse crystal. But anyway, we have by combination we have more and more probably more than 100 stable coarse crystal, and uh, so it's not a unique example. But uh, here. We, and I would like the, uh, to tell the young people that uh, it's, uh, sometimes it's, it's a good if you look, look back uh, to the, the old face diagram. Because, for example, the, the other couple of ions, when we found that it was close crystal, but we look back to the, 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 the face diagram, actually here is uh, the composition of close crystal is exactly this uh, side face. Okay, so it's, it's a, the, the face is already there, but because we don't have idea to, to, uh, to determine what the structure is. But on the other hand, then, we know that this idea, there's something, so the cadmium uh, interbeam here, 7, 5.7, is also unknown in thermic compounds. But after we, 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 we investigate it, it's what first waste. So here I give you some examples. These, these are all intermediate compounds, but it's already appeared in the base diagram before the discovery of first waste, but never mentioned in case. And then the uh, third part, I will talk the, 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 uh, we did a lot for the last few years about the structure of the system. And uh, this is, uh, is something very interesting. Again, I talked about the binary uh, stable quasi crystal. Uh, assume is here. Uh, this one, because the, it's unknown phase, but the, the, there is a, one intermediate compound, cadmium 6 interbeam, next to the, this compound. And we analyze the structure because this is, is a crystalline phase. And the last day is a BCC structure. The BCC is mean the icosahedral class shown here, and it's located with a BCC arrangement. So if you look at that uh, from the, the uh, it's just like the Gaussian star. So from the innermost, it's a four, it's a tetrahedron cadmium, and then it's a twenty cadmium form the dodecahedron, and the twelve the cubic form the icosahedron, and then our shape. So this is very important for the later. Uh, uh, the blender on structure study. The first one is, uh, I'm sorry, so again, it's here. So there are many, many problems for, 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 for analyzing of structure because the most of the words they are three at, content, at the least, three elements. So it's too complicated to, to study. But now it's for binary. This, I think the thing is become more and more simple. And uh, the second one is most of them are chemical disorder. I mean, the chemical disorder is that, uh, for example, in this structure, this is the only this shape occupied by each of them. Each of them and cutting in the occupy the different atomic sites. So it's kind of chemical order. Okay, so it's very clear. Then, then we don't we know that's where each of and where you are. So it's uh, this form again is solved. And the third one is this uh, depression contrast between the atoms. For example, if you just compare copper and iron in the in the periodic table, they just connected to one one uh, uh, to each other. And as you know, the, 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 the deflection made from, uh, by the elements is in, in proportion to their the number of electrons. 
So kappa and I is almost the same number of reactions, so they, they can, the flexion control so will not be the same, so it's not easy to have. And the other is that we, we don't have a very good example called the approximate. So actually, I'm showing you the total six ethereum is uh, approximate. The approximate is a crystal, but it contains the hypothesis class same as the inferior crystal. But nevertheless, the it's a range of the class, they are in a periodic, uh, periodic way. Okay. And then the, the next one is the, the problem is how to describe the uh, uh, structure. Okay, that this is just a placement to this paper which is close by the physics day and also the hard content in the physics day at the same times. And then we, we, we have this uh, binary uh, quasi crystal that we study by synchrotron X ray and they use a very uh, difficult uh, mathematical method from high dimensions. So, for example, this result is deduced from the uh, uh, more than 5,000 uh, deflections. And so, once we will have index with the six the high dimension indexes, and then we calculate it in the six dimensions, and then project the content again, and we obtain this uh, electron density as shown here. So, uh, I would like you see that there are two, uh, two different contrasts in the electron density. The strong ones co correspond to detergent, and the weaker ones correspond to carbonate. So then here, you just look at the one is here in high dimension, here is, is vortex, and this is H center, and here is body, body centers. So from body center, you will give you the, uh, when this direction applied to the, uh, this uh, uh, strong contrast of directions, we have the, you know, this, uh, this uh, five axis, and the five the, on the opposite side, they have five -hole. So if we analyze the, uh, in, the, in the high dimension, in different direction, we realize that actually, in here is the iterium hypothetical. And it's just simply do the same thing, if we see that from around three four, there is a cathodium, and then they form this, uh, actually they form uh, two, two decahedrons. Similarly, for the cathodium, around two folds, and here we are not. So I, I, will, I would like to remind you that this class is exactly the, the same as what we observed in the So the crystal, the plasma crystal and the plasma crystal is contain the same hypothetical uh, cluster. But the other problem is the how to, de uh, how to de uh, uh, describe the structure. Because normally we consider a cluster, is, for example, the shear like here, uh, I consider the hydrons. But in this case, uh, we are re re reluctant to extend it to the outer shear. The reason is very simple, because if we extend the outer shear, then the, the, they, they will be inter interpenetrated. But if we, we just consider the, the small cluster, and in between, we still have, the, you see that the blue atoms, and this blue atoms is uh, more than 60%. So this is one of the development in the structure is that we, we consider this a cluster in the, uh, the outer shear. And in this case, by allowing the interpenetrate each other along three poles. And here is, you see that we, it's the outlet of this obscure rubber head. And this idea, in this case, then we don't have this blue uh, uh, atoms. So all the atoms can be described by this cluster. Okay, this is for uh, the uh, approximate, and it's in important for, for, uh, to, for us to, to solve the structure of the first crystal. So now we know that the, the class uh, of the first crystal is also the uh, approximate. And fortunately, in this system, we, uh, we have another higher order approximate, it's equal to one approximate. So in, in these two approaches, they have a similarity that they have two, only two uh, connections between the classes. We call the C. Connect, B connection, which just shared by the rubbers. And the other is the, the uh, uh, C connection, which, as I mentioned, they share that this uh, overlap of this optical number atoms. Okay, then we have the idea of class, and if we, by calculation, we can extend it to the uh, 3, 2, and higher and high order approximate. And in this case, we found that in, for the 1, 1 approximate, we only need, need, need this cluster. But for 2, 1 approximate, we need it. In, in addition to this uh, uh, cluster, we need another acute uh, number atoms. So two high order, actually, it's not, it doesn't make change. So only we need three distinctly to construct the structure of course this. So now it's simply how to allocate this, uh, the, the, the position of cluster. Because as you uh, show this cluster, it's very show the high symmetry. So we expect that this cluster should be located at a very uh, position, high symmetry. So it's, we call it in the three dimension panel start and we call this, uh, uh, what do you say, the 12 volt side uh, directors. So here is the result. And here, this yellow box represents one of the cluster. 
is a rubbing cube on the atom. It contains 158 atoms. And it's, it's showing the hypothesis to the dihedrons. And this hypothesis to the dihedrons, they show another large, large share of that, uh, not the hypothesis to the dihedrons. So in the slice, and then you see that the, the, the compared to the, the, the NG ratio, we see that the larger, the larger hypothesis one have the, something like the, the scale of the with power, with power of three. It's a, just like a cluster structure. Okay, it's just for example to show you that the, how the cluster range in the, in the space, and this give idea that the structure. And actually, one interesting is that when you look at, you know, a person, one of the person and a is actually they are located in different opposite direction. in the Take different extremes, different ends, but uh, you see the difference is only by 60% of the edges. Which one is only only a uh, uh, cluster, and each cluster will be uh, together with some uh, from the heavens. So this is sort of for this. And again, this paper is also sort of give some impact. So was, again, it close up by physics today and chemical engineers, and we have a power plant in the natural bacteria. And last year, this paper was selected by the natural bacteria as one of the 20 landmark papers in the, uh, from the, the, the uh, paper published last 10 years uh, since they uh, And then I come from the, uh, from tenary to single element. Because of the binary, so we have tenary cause feature, then we have binary. How to do the tenary, uh, the single element? So we, we started from the surface and use cause as the template to, to dose and to form a, a, a single element cause This is how motivation. So here I show you again some uh, example of the first visual and two one approximate and one approximate they have different differential methods. But now we have uh, such big samples, so it's now easy for us to study even surface. And uh, the, the surface study, as you know, just simply in focus crystal, we just performed by, by sputtering and anneling and repeat and, and finally we get the four. For example, after sputtering, you didn't see any odor, but after anneling at 200 degrees, you see the sun with this art of diffusion. They have a house scary arrangement. But if you read a nail at 400 degrees, and then it's just a read. Again, five point symmetry depression part. So now we, we, we can understand that we have a surface with, uh, with a five point symmetry. Of course, we study along the five point symmetry lens. And uh, fortunately, the sample will show very, uh, very wide, wide region of the uh, payloss. And then the two little payloss uh, the uh, heights, one S and L. Because this is also one of the characteristics of a quartz crystal. In for, for the, the crystal, the, all the terras state, they must be uh, the equidistance, but the quartz crystal, they have a difference. And the difference is that two, two I would like to draw your attention as S and L is one of the 0.28 nanometer and one, the large one, 0.85 nanometer. And we will see how, how this uh, come back to you. By the way, we saw the structure. And now by SDN, uh, you can see that uh, the structures because it will be atomical resolutions. And interesting is that in this, in this sample, if we change the bias, and we find that the different contrast come out. For example, in here, we switch the, uh, the minus, uh, minus the uh, uh, bias, and you see that the, the five four from the pentagon, which length of the length of the pentagon. But if we, we, we give this uh, plus the bias, then we see different. We see that the, 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 the corner of this uh, pentagon is uh, you know, it's a one donut. So, up, up, and also, the, if we, if, from the make the uh, reference, you see it's very clear that uh, this uh, the spot is excited by different uh, So, it means that by, by changing the layout, this bias, we see different structures. We see different parties. So, so what happened? I think we will compare this. We have to compare with a structure model. But to un understand that the origin of why the bias is the different uh, the, uh, 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 image. So uh, just was the, the, the meaning of the bias minus plus is mean as in this case, in this case, as I showing here, in this case, this one, the, the, this uh, uh, electron, uh, is, uh, when it's some, something related to this uh, plus, because it's uh, unoccupied and they can accept the X electron. On the other hand, the, the cadmium, the, 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 the red one, in the cadmium, in this case, into a silver, and the blue is the class, the, we bring the class center, the long in the headphones. So first, they, they have a look of the, the, the different layer. And for example, the layer showing here, we have a stock here. It's very clear that the concentration of the uh, iterium is much higher than the, the, 
their bulk conversations. Sure, because we have system, but it's not here. And if we, we slice the, the only the plan of is the uh, the integral silver layer is like this. So if the for for the for the integral is like this. But mostly we, we see that this 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 plan is not most stable. The reason why because it's very clear everything. That's I mentioned in the when we observe the tables, I mentioned that we have two state types. One is the about 0 0.5 nanometer, and the other is 0. It's looks uh, very well. So uh, with this template, because we have, a, as I mentioned, uh, most about 40% of the turbine appear in the, on the surface, and this uh, always located in the high symmetry position. So we, it uh, allows it, us to inspect the structure, to prepare structure uh, uh, of the lead, those leader, and to form a single element project. This is the example. Okay, and. Uh, Again, we compare with structure model. This uh, is what so so weird. And this paper, I don't go to detail because I think the chair is standing up. I say give more than five minutes, but uh, you change mind. <laughs> anyway, and it's the paper. It's a the single element we just published, published last week, uh, and this, uh, we can see here. But let me finish uh, finish because the complete remarks. So I think that I just I would like to pose the, the, the question: so what what did the, the quasi crystal bring 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 up about? So I think that is what is it is that we give a question about what is the meaning of the order in the sub the start. For example, in these three three patterns, anyone can see that there's some order. For example, here the the left one you see very good security. Uh, can you tell me what the, in the middle? Can you find some order or? And I know here it's a triangle and it's a rectangle. No, can you see this? That did it. Enlarge it. Did you see it? Actually, you can see anything, but this is just exactly the, the I mean the, the basis of the parallel patterns. If this is if you didn't see it, you don't see any order, but the, you know the depression button gives a so beautiful depression. So what was the the, the order? I think it's one of the and the other thing is also related to this one because in the parent bottom, if we really try to see what to locate the atoms in this way, you can see we have there some the position. That, I mean, two uh, atoms with the physical is allowed the distance. And this actually happened in many, 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 many places. How to manage this one? And by doing this, exactly just like this, clicking. These two atoms are the distance like they have been shown here. So if the atom turn here, they live here. So it means in the in real structure, this is not one position, it's two positions, but one atom is both is in the briefing in these two sides, and they give a different type. The dead structure here. And it also explain the meaning when you serve the structure, what's the meaning of the, the uh, occupation of 50 person? It means one atom in the two sides. It's a dynamic structure. Actually this the and this also observed in the by type by TNs, but I want to compare. And finally, uh, this is my last presentation. Actually, in the reality, we observe the apartment, you see the cluster, in the list of tetrahedrons, it's vibrating, if you change the rotation. And the change, if you see the change in rotation here, and this tetrahedrons, if the structure of the, uh, you see that? You will place to that. Here, the, the red one is the, the trap, atomic site, but they are occupied by four atoms. And that's why they, they have a, Tetrahedron support it, and this will place uh, the atom in this way. And the, as a result, what it happens is that exactly what I see: the overlap between of the zombie tetrahedrons, and it's just by flipping these atoms, it changes the direction of the other And this is exactly we observe in, in, in the we are course based on that placement. So I like to say the course based on just a light crystal, you know, it is moving every time, even at room temperature. So it will be interesting to see when we go, the temperature go down to the, uh, the temperature go down to the, the zero K of what the stock is like. This will be another uh, important issue. So we call this uh, the stock is uh, atomic flexibility. So the stability, what drives the uh, the stability of positivism? Two, of course, in the in the phase diagram is very clear. We have a line compound of the positivism, line composition, very sharp composition. But the other one is the atomic the flexibility. If you stay back, what the reason? This is what the, uh, I wanted to explain. So I will stop here, and this is uh, the phenomenon, and I thank you for your attention. I thank you so much. I have a very short question. 
not take a question. Why? Uh, I will not take a question in the prerogatives of the uh, speaker because uh, he will be here. Please ask questions uh, on the tea because we are already delayed. Uh, we will move to the next session, next uh, speakers. Thank you.